Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 19th and 20th of February 2023. Let's start with our session. The Union Ministry of Mines announced that lithium reserves were found for the first time in which state or the union territory. So the Union Ministry of Mines has recently announced that lithium reserves have been found in Jammu and Kashmir and this is the first time that a lithium reserve has been found in the country. So Geological Survey of India has established 5.9 million tons of inferred lithium resources in the Salal Haimana area of Rizi district in Jammu and Kashmir. So this could boost the manufacturing of rechargeable batteries for electric cars, smartphones and laptops and with this we would cut India's dependence on lithium imports basically, right? Now in the month of November already we have seen that India had sent a team of three geologists to the country Argentina. Why? To examine potential lithium deposits and possible acquisition opportunities in the country, right? So now we do not need to do such type of operations because we have found it in our own country. Next is which telescope has been selected for the 2023 John L. Jack Swigert Jr. Award for Space Exploration? So NASA's James Webb Space Telescope team has been selected to receive this 2023 John L. Jack Swigert Jr. Award for Space Exploration. And it is a prestigious award from the Space Foundation. And this annual award basically honors a space agency, company or consortium of organization in the realm of space exploration and discovery. Okay, so James Webb Telescope has been selected for this particular award. Now, can you tell me which planet has the highest number of moons as of 2023? This is Jupiter. And Jupiter recently became the planet with the most number of moons after a dozen new moons were discovered around it. And this planet has now surpassed Saturn with its list of 92 moons in all. So basically the spacecraft named as Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer or you can say the JUICE spacecraft has arrived at Europe's spaceport in French Guiana and now it is a new mission from Earth which is ready to explore the planet's biggest moons and it will be launched in the month of April this year. So simply you can be asked that which planet has the highest number of moons as of 2023. Now this planet is Jupiter. Next is, as per a recent report, what was the top financial activity done in India in the last 12 months? So as per the U government's latest report, over one third of urban Indians have claimed that their disposable income has decreased in the last 12 months. So putting money in their savings is the topmost financial activity done in the past 12 months by the Indians and this is nearly 33%. Second is paying for health insurance and the third financial activity is investment in stocks and shares. Okay, Health insurance coverage is 26% and this is 21%. So these are the top three financial activities done in the past 12 months as per the report. Fine. Next is which company launched India's first drone air traffic management system? This is Sky Air, which is a Gurugram based drone solutions provider. And recently it has launched the traffic management system for the drones in India. And this software was launched in the presence of our minister of road transport and highways, Mr. Nitin Gadkari. And now it will allow the drone operators to plan the routes, make flight plans and assess risk before running drone based operations in the country. Fine. So recently this company has launched India's first drone air 
ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम नो कैन यू टेल मी इसरो हैज कमेंस्ड द ट्रेनिंग फॉर द क्रू मॉड्यूल रिकवरी फॉर इट्स गगनयान मिशन अलॉन्ग विथ विच आर्म्ड फोर्स सो इसरो अलॉन्ग विथ इंडियन नेवी स्टार्टेड ट्रेनिंग फॉर द क्रू मॉड्यूल रिकवरी वेन इट स्प्लैशेज डाउन इन द सी आफ्टर री एंट्रिंग द एटमोसफियर एंड दिस ट्रेनिंग वॉज डन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रेपरेशन फॉर इट्स फर्स्ट ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट दैट इज गगनयान मिशन एंड नाउ द ट्रेनिंग एम्स टू फाइनलाइज द स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर फॉर द रिकवरी ऑफ द क्रू मेंबर्स एज सुन एज पॉसिबल एंड द ट्रायल्स रिसेंटली कमेंस्ड एट द वॉटर सर्वाइवल टेस्ट फैसिलिटी ऑफ इंडियन नेवी इन कोची ओके सो यू कैन बी आस्ट दैट इसरो हैज कमेंस्ड दिस ट्रेनिंग फॉर इट्स गगनयान मिशन अलॉन्ग विथ विच आर्म फोर्स सो दैट वुड बी इंडियन नेवी नेक्स्ट इज एज पर द एनुअल रिपोर्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी विच रीजन विल यूज हाफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव सो अकॉर्डिंग टू अ न्यू फोरकास्ट दैट हैज बीन रिलीज्ड बाय इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी एशिया विल यूज हाफ ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड एज पर द एनुअल रिपोर्ट चाइना विल बी कंज्यूमिंग मोर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैन the european union us and india combined okay also africa which is home to almost 1/5 of world's nearly 8 million inhabitants africa will account for just 3% of global electricity consumption in 2025 okay so basically asia will use 50% of the world's electricity by the end of 2025 this is just a report Now can you tell me which company has launched the world's first satellite based two way messaging system So this is Qualcomm and the name of the satellite is Snapdragon Okay So this satellite was launched recently and this is the world's first satellite based two way capable messaging solution And the solution works for smartphones that have been developed by Qualcomm in partnership with iridium inc and this technology was initially introduced at the consumer electronics show 2023 and on this satellite emergency messaging will be activated on the next generation smartphones okay so you can be asked that which company has launched the world's first satellite based two way messaging system that would be qualcomm next is prime minister narendra modi recently flagged off two vande bharat trains in which indian state so prime minister narendra modi has flagged off two vande bharat trains in the state of maharashtra and this is mumbai solapur and mumbai sai nagar vande bharat express so they were flagged off from mumbai and with this the number of vande bharat express trains running from mumbai will increase to 3 and this count will go up to 10 in the later months okay so recently these two vande bharat trains have been flagged off from the state maharashtra now also recently our union minister ashwini vashna inaugurated the national philatelic exhibition named as amrit pex where in new delhi and philately is the collection and study of the postage stamps So this event displays more than twenty thousand exhibits under thirteen competitive categories and a special section on Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. And Department of Post also released a commemorative postage stamp on Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Okay, so you can be asked that Amrit Pex, which is a national level exhibition that has been inaugurated recently, is related to which field? So that would be philately. Next is which is the first fintech company to support the rupee credit cards on UPI So Mobiquick has become the first fintech application to support the rupee credit cards on UPI and this facility will actually help millions of customers who use the UPI for their daily transactions So now since rupee credit cards have been linked directly to UPI IDs customers can easily make the payments to the merchants by scanning the upi qr code 
and using the UPI PIN for the payment authentication. Okay. So Mobiquick is the first fintech company to support the rupee credit cards on UPI. Now, a few days back, we have talked about PhonePay. PhonePay is the first fintech company to launch cross-border transaction facility through UPI, right? So basically, it allows the international transactions through the unified payment interface. And now with this, Indian travelers can make the UPI transactions to the foreign merchants using this PhonePay platform, okay? Next is Natalia Gavrilita stepped down from the position of Prime Minister of which country? So Moldovan Prime Minister Natalia Gavrilita stepped down from her position citing a lack of support in the country. So Moldova is basically a landlocked country in Eastern Europe and it is also a former Soviet Republic. So the pro-Western government had been in power for just 18 months and Moldova's president Maya Sandu accepted her resignation. Fine. So you can be asked that Natalia is the former prime minister of which country? Answer would be Moldova. Now recently, Equatorial Guinea has appointed its first female prime minister. And who is she? She is Manuela Roca Buti. Right? Next is, which application has been India's most accessible application for the persons with disabilities in a recent report? So WhatsApp has been named as India's most accessible application for the persons with disabilities and it has been published in a report titled as Making the Digital Ecosystem Disabled Friendly. So this report was released by the Vidhi Center for Legal Policy which evaluated accessibility features of messaging, online payments, transport, e-commerce and food delivery. And WhatsApp was the only application that has been rated as highly accessible based on the web content accessibility guidelines, right? <clears throat> so India's most accessible application for PWD is WhatsApp. Next is Indian Institute of Science partnered with which company for research and development in electrostatic discharge protection. So Samsung Semiconductor India Research and Indian Institute of Science have recently announced a partnership and this partnership aims to promote research and development in an on-chip electrostatic discharge protection. Fine. So for this purpose, IISC Bangalore has partnered with Samsung. Next is, which city is the host of India's first ever Formula E Championship? So our Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur flagged off the Formula E Championship recently in Hyderabad. And Hyderabad City hosts India's first ever Formula E Race Hyderabad e Prix at the Hyderabad Street Circuit on the banks of Hussain Sagar Lake. Okay. So this is also the first motorsport event in the country in the last 10 years. And Hyderabad is the 27th city in the world to host the race as non-carbon emission event. Fine. So which city is the host of India's very first Formula E championship? This is Hyderabad city. Next is Jerlin Anika, who was seen in the news recently, is associated with which sport? So she is a deaf Olympic champion. And recently, she has qualified in the general category at the Olympics. Okay. So with this, she became the first deaf Olympian to receive the prestigious Arjuna Award. And she holds the record of being the youngest player to represent India in summer deaf Olympics at the age of just 13 years. So she has clinched three gold medals at the 2021 summer deaf Olympics, basically. So she is associated with badminton. Now next is ABK Prasad, who was chosen for Raja Ram Mohan Roy National Award, is associated with which profession? So veteran journalist ABK Prasad has been chosen for the prestigious Raja Ram Mohan Roy National Award for excellence in journalism. And this was announced 
but the press council of india new delhi so he has a journalistic career for over 75 years and he has the honor of being the editor of all the mainstream journals of andhra pradesh state and not only this also he has served as the chairman of official language commission in the state of andhra pradesh fine so this award has been presented to mr abk prasad fine so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and yes one more thing i need to tell you is i'll be on leave from 21st of february up to 28th of february due to some urgent work that's why i have not started the revision session because we have to start a new month these lectures are helping you in your preparation until the time i'll not be here you do not need to worry about anything because another faculty of gk today would continue at my position and once i'll come back we will continue our session like earlier okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off